guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at another microphone. Yes, I know, it is out of the ordinary, we aren't doing keyboards today. We're going to be taking a look today at the LM1X by Movo. Also keep in mind, currently the audio being recorded on this camera is the Comica CVM V30 and this is basically a shotgun microphone. Just so you guys can get an idea of what the difference in audio setups is going to be with the lavalier microphone versus the shotgun microphone. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So there's a bunch of things that are going to come in this box and we'll go ahead and unbox this and show you guys what comes inside. The main thing you'll see in the box is the lavalier itself and you'll notice that it has a lot of wire that comes with it and there's reason to this but we'll get into that through the video. On this microphone you'll notice that it has this little capsule which basically houses the power as well as extra settings that you have available to you. On the capsule you'll see that it has the 0 and negative 10 dB function which allows you to drop the audio or lift it and then you have the camera to smartphone switch to the left of that. This is basically so you can distinguish between the camera recording audio option or the smartphone recording audio option. So definitely keep in mind which device you're recording on when you're using this. Also on the bottom of this, it has a headphone adapter, which is pretty nice in my opinion if you're trying to listen to the audio that you're recording. Also you have here is the clip, which you can use to mount on your pocket, your shirt, or just anything that you need to clip it onto. And then you have your lavalier microphone which is a omnidirectional microphone. Now the coil, you'll see it has a lot of coil. And this is mainly so you can use this for multiple settings. You can use it for cooking, moving around in different locations, or having your person further away from the camera for interview settings. In my opinion, it's definitely necessary to have something like this if you would like to have a more accurate audio recording. On the end of it, you have your TRS connector. In the back, you'll see that it has the, are they happy or not happy paper? Pretty much it gives us options to contact them if we have grievances or issues. Also in the bag we have our manual which you can go through as well. One of the main specifics that I like to look at is the omnidirectional pattern at which this microphone records. Also in the bag you have the clip which mounts to your microphone so you can clip it to your shirt or other area. As with every lavalier microphone you can't really go anywhere without your little pop filter. And then last but not least you have your TRS adapter which for me is pretty handy if I plan to use this with an audio interface. And that's pretty much I think that's it. No jewels. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is connect the pop filter as well as the lavalier clip onto the microphone, connect it to the camera, and show you guys an audio difference. Keep in mind that this camera is arm's distance away, and this is the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K with the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter 1.8. So in other settings, the microphone, such as the Comica microphone, if I was any further than that away, would have a lot more echo and background noise in it. We are testing the audio one, two, three, one, two, three, testing the audio using zero dB. Let's go ahead and drop it down to negative 10 dB to see the audio difference. All right guys, so now we are testing the negative 10 dB of this microphone to see what the audio lavalier setup sounds like. We are currently set to camera and we are recording to the audio of this device. All right guys, so we have an idea of what it sounds like when we are recording in a room that is treated, semi-treated like I have here. But let's go ahead and take it outside to see how it sounds at a distance from the camera as well as outside settings. I think that's one of the more important ways that we can use this and give you guys a better idea of what this kind of microphone will pick up in and around the microphone. Okay, so let's get to it. All right guys, we are in the backyard. The air conditioner is running. Uh, we are testing out the microphone of the lavalier microphone. Uh, this is at zero dB. Now we're gonna switch it over to negative 10 dB. All right, we are now at negative 10 dB. We are testing out the lavalier microphone with the air conditioner running in the background. This is the sound test. All right. All right, guys, we are testing the microphone outside. We have the highway right behind me. We are testing it in the yard right now. There's natural noise all around me, bugs, birds, trees, wind. And we are testing out the LM1X microphone by Movo. Right now we're at zero dB. Let's go ahead and drop it down to negative 10 dB. All right, guys, we are testing out the microphone at negative 10 dB. This is how it sounds outside. All right. All right, guys, we have tested this microphone out in so many different ways. I think it's a great microphone for an all around purpose. You can use it for your Zoom meetings. You can use it for your video audio recordings. You can use it for selfie recording, smartphone recording, or just audio recording of anything that you're using, music, voice recordings, singing, anything of that sort. It's definitely a good option for that. And at the low budget price of this thing, I think it's definitely a good option. As always, I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to purchase this if you are interested in it. And feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comments below as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.